So this, obviously, this is what it looks like when you sign up for webinar from the link. You get the link in your email and then you just click it and it opens and then you click start the broadcast. So I'm going to click that. Okay, so now that you've started your broadcast, your broadcast started your webinar and you're into the video, just right click on the video and click view, view page source. This will open up in a new tab and you will be able to view the page source and all the code and everything. Just want to click command F, which is command, it's find, it's, it's the find shortcut on Mac. If you're on Windows, I think it's control F, same thing. And then up in here, you'll get this little search bar up here and then you just want to search MP4 enter and then that'll bring you down to mp4 there's normally two so you just want to look at one or the other these arrows bring you down to one or the other and then you'll have this link here video url equals and then that quote and then just select right behind where the quote is and then https select that all the way up to the end quote and then you can right click on that and you can click go to that'll open another tab and then this will be your version of it. You can skip through this and skip the timestamps or skip to anything you want. Uh, pause, back, whatever you want to do. It gives you the freedom that you deserve in these webinars, these huge sale pitches. The least they can do is allow you the ability to pause, fast forward and rewind. So this will, that'll give that to you, except the only catch is that you can't close this other tab. You can see in your version that it's two hours and 38 minutes long. So that link for you will be available for about three hours, um, but you won't need the three hours. You can just skip through it and watch about 30 minutes of it, but your link will only be available for about 30 or two hour, two and a half hours. So you have to finish your viewing of this video in two and a half hours or else your link will expire. So don't close your tab, the original tab, or else it'll expire the, the, uh, the link. But what you can do instead of having them both be playing the sound at you is you just right click on the tab and then you can click mute site. So that mutes that one. You can close the view source and then you can just watch your other one at whichever volume and whichever time you want. So that'll be it for this short video. Um, I just wanted to you know, help you guys do this because I was doing this for myself right now. So I figured I'd just shoot a quick video tutorial on how to do it for you guys. If what if you're watching a webinar right now or you're going to be in the future, uh, it's definitely a huge time saver because these guys literally have a four hour, three to four hour sales pitch surrounding their small key bits of information, which are useful, which is why I'm watching one right now. Um, but yeah, if you want to see anything else like this, just comment down below. If you like the video and it helped you out, like if you want and subscribe if you want. But yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks.